Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God, through Jesus, bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, 
will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with a word of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus, we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with these words. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. The Lord comes to judge the earth. For great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Awesome is he beyond all gods. For all the gods of the nations are things of naught, but the Lord made the heavens. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. The Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had grown up, and went, according to his customs, into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up to read and was handed a scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He enrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down, and the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, Today this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing, and all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They also asked, Is this not the son of Joseph? He said to them, Surely you will quote me this proverb, Physician, cure yourself, and say, Do hear what your in your native place the things that were he be heard were done in Capernaum. And he said, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent to, but only to a widow at Sarapath, in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet. Yet, 
not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town has been built to hurl him down headlong. But he passed through the midst of them and went away. May the brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. I have several nieces and nephews, and every now and then, I used to give them toys. I used to hand them over mga abubot na pwede nilang um, paglaruan. At times, I even um, allow them to go to the mall and I allow them to choose no, kung ano yung gusto nilang laruan. No? And to my surprise, no, they would choose what they want. No? And nakakatawa naman dahil they will somehow cherish no, those toys that I would give them. No? However, we know of occasions naman wherein no, may mga kids, bigyan mo sila ng toys, no? after five hours, after eight hours, no, yung laruan na napakamahal, nasa na? Wala na. No? Ayaw na nila. No? Nagsawa na sila. Kasi parang pagkatapos silang paglaruan ito ng ilang oras, no, nawawala na yung misteryo no? doon sa bagong um, kinakahumalinga nila. But then after some time, no, nawawala na yung enthusiasm. Why am I telling you this, my dear brothers and sisters? In our gospel reading today, we've heard of the incident wherein Jesus was ministering to his native land, no? native town, Nazareth. He was there in the synagogue and he was asked to read a scripture in the scroll and it landed on him the quotation from Prophet Isaiah, which reads, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives, recovery of the sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. It landed on him, and then rolling up, he told them, This scripture passage has been fulfilled in your hearing. Siguro sa mga nandun nakakarinig, wow, no? ito ay totoong mangyayari ngayon through you. No? And all they were all amazed. No? Bago ito. No? And they were astounded also by the graciousness of the words that came out from his mouth. Sa kanyang sinasabi, sa kanyang tinuturo. No? Marahil marami ang talaga namang namangha admired him, got amazed with his teaching. Initial enthusiasm, bago ito, bata ito. However, no, when one man asked, hindi ba ito si anak, anak ito ni Jose, na kapitbahay lang natin. Kasama lang natin ito, eh. familiar ito sa atin. Para bang hindi kami makapaniwala na this familiar blood could do these amazing things? No? Nawala na yung misteryo. No? Dahil akala nila, kilala na nila si Jesus. No? Totoo nga siguro yung kasabihan. No? Familiarity breeds what? Contempt. If it's familiar already, no? wala na siyang misteryo. No? If we believe that we already know the whole mystery, no? wala na. No? And I guess this very incident, my dear brothers and sisters, and the incident also of the children having new toys, 
And at the same time, pag nagsawa na, tinatabi na lang o kaya tinatabon. It also manifests our what? Relationships. Relationships with those dear to us, but most especially, relationship with God Himself. Makikita naman natin, for example, sa mga bagong asawa, di ba? Bagong kasal. No? Napakatamis, no? Parang hindi mapaghiwahiwalay, no? Pero after five years, wala na, nagkakasawaan na. No? Nandun yung mga magbagong jowa, no? Grabe ang kanilang band, no? But then, kapag lumipas na ang ilang taon, buwan, araw, no? Wala na. No? Ayoko na. No? Same goes also with our relationship with God. No? Sometimes, we feel that, ah, alam ko na Lord ang gagawin mo. No? Alam ko na ang galawan mo. No? Really? Sabihin natin na nauuna pa tayo sa iniisip ng Diyos. No? that we believe that we have control over everything already. As what the kababayan of Jesus thought of Him. No? Kilala ka na namin eh. Sa tingin nila, control na nila ang information. Eh, kamag-anak ka nito ganyan eh. Wala ka ng misteryong maio-offer sa amin dahil kilala ka na namin. Same goes also sometimes with our relationship with God. No? We think that we already know God. That our construct of Him is actually our construct of ourselves. No? If we believe that we know already the details of someone, the mystery of it is diminished. And I guess... We are reminded today, my dear brothers and sisters, by the very facet, very aspect of God. And what is it? Our God is a God of surprises. He surprises us no? without us knowing no? the whole detail. And I guess that is what we would like to invoke today. May we remain to be mystified. May we remain to be amazed no? with what is coming, with what is at hand. Na para tayong mga batang may bagong laruan palagi. Rediscovering what is in store. Patiently Waiting for that revelation. No? Ano pa pa ang gustong ipahiwatig, ipahayag sa akin ng Diyos? Ipaabot sa akin ng Diyos? Hindi yung nag as if tayo, ta, ah, kilala ko na yan. Ah, alam ko na yan. Control ko na yan. No. If we have that kind of disposition, my dear brothers and sisters, the mystery is diminished. Sometimes we don't need to know the answers. We just have to ask the right questions. And the answer will present to us whenever it is necessary. That is the very mystery of God. It increases our faith. It continues to deepen our relationship with Him. May we remain to be awed, to be mystified, to be amazed by this very God that is full of surprises. Amen.
Jesus was rejected by his own people. In faith, we accept him as our Lord and Savior, and we pray in his name. In every prayer we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may speak the word of God with courage and live it with conviction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the world may come to realize through us that Jesus Christ is the source of true wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christian parents may be strengthened to follow Christ, who is the way and the truth and the life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick who find life difficult may see God's presence through the care and concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the faithful departed may have the joy of everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, since none of us come to Jesus unless you draw us to him, make us all one with him, that we may be with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just on our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship you together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all your glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, us Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the, the glory, glory are yours now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, but only say, the, say word, the word, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, 
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thanks be to God. We stand before the grand horizon. Five hundred years of faith, grateful today. We bear the gift of mission, totally yours. We give ourselves faithfully yours until the end to your mission, Lord. We give our yes.